All right, y'all, we are back at it. Lake Fork, this is sort of like the travel vlog, sort of like the Okeechobee one, not like, we're actually already here. So, um, we actually did a, a unbelievable amount of videos that you'll see later on the channel. Uh, myself and Mark Daniels Jr., MDJ, Justin Martin, it was phenomenal. We got Adrian Novena, Dustin Connell on the back. We just grabbed a quick bite to eat. Water's warming up. We've not been on the lake yet. Practice starts tomorrow. And the thing is, okay, this is the thing. Springtime, we just had a full moon. Things are looking pretty good. I think it's gonna be take a lot of weight this week. And I've only fished Lake Fork one time. So we're gonna see how that goes. I mean, when I fished here, it was an offshore deal. Uh, this time, I would assume, obviously, there should be a lot of bass that are trying to pull up to start to spawn. A lot of pre-spawners. Those are probably gonna be the main players. But uh, I'm gonna take you along today. I think we're gonna stop at a couple of tackle shops. Just sort of like go through the process. I might even stop at a little lake and maybe test, test some tackle. Um, rig some rods and do all that stuff. So come along with and uh, we'll see what we get into. Uh, first, I gotta unlock the door. First look at you know, Lake Fork. We're driving over the bridge right now. Have a lot of rain. That's one thing that's gonna be a big deal this week is water clarity. I don't know if it's necessarily gonna be a sight fishing event right now. It looks like it's stained, which Lake Fork's normally pretty stained, but it's not it's not that stained. Like it's a foot of visibility. It looks like a foot of visibility. A lot of boats for a for a Tuesday. Finding areas that are unpressured will be a big deal this week as well. But looking at looking at the lake, it looks like it's in good shape. It's not real muddy, at least in this area. And you can tear your stuff off on Lake Fork. So I went down here just to stop at a little tackle shop. Adrian's already bought like $800 worth of tackle this morning, I think, something like that. But I just come down here and sort of look at the watercolor. That's where you can tell it's pretty clean, actually. I mean, like, if there were some spawning, you could sort of see, you would think they'd be gone and stuff like that. But that's the kind of stuff, I mean, this is mid lake too. So like, that's probably a foot, maybe a foot of visibility. I don't think it's gonna be the deal to look at, like be looking at fish this week, probably. Just sort of good to know like water clarity throughout the whole lake. You know, that's a big deal. And uh, I think that's what sort of what I want to do. But now we got to stop in here. Oh, these sizzle. These sizzle pulling up right now. I mean, it's always fun to go to these little tackle shops and Lake Fork has some of the best. You know, some places all around the country, I go and just look at little tackle shops just to see like, sometimes there's like some little local guy that makes some stuff and just buy a few of them. Yo, bro. Lake Fork, baby. Look at that big old dog. Everything bigger in Texas. <laughs> oh, big dog. Come here. Hey, puppy. He don't want nothing. Sweet puppy. That's what I said. He don't want nothing to do with you, D Sizzle. So we here. Lake Fork. Hey, Brian Robinson's over there, too. What's up, bro? Summer gun. Look at that thing. Sweet. He said that everyone's looking good, too. Look at this, guys. This is like a dang spinner bait with a swim bait. That's is that a hook too? Yeah, it's a hook. Yeah, I don't know how, like, you wouldn't be able to catch them on that. Well, I don't We think. can't throw that. Well, no, we can't. It's not legal for us. But I'm just saying, it's just like, huh? I just, I just the stuff that. you see coming around the country. You got a lot of stuff in here, though. Uh, a 13. That's like the rising sun. I've heard a lot of stories about this sucker on Lake Fork. The rising sun. I don't know what the deal is. Could be a player this week. I, I like the little one better, but that, that one's like interesting. It's a drop shot with a float piece of wood to sit with. Yeah. I don't know. Those bass fish. Why would do I love I'm now never even cast it? Like, you love tinkering. Yeah, I do. Tinkering. Why not? Alright, so we're walking out of the tackle shop. You guys know me. I, it does I probably will not even make a cast with any of this, but this is the thing, I eat, love bass fishing. I love to tinker, I love to mess around with tackle, I love to like mess with tackle at the house and create other boxes like so. I don't throw a big swim bait very often, but hey, if they do buy it, we're ready. Water's actually a little clean. Like right even right here, it's mid lake. Hey, yeah, they're gonna bite that float worm this week. Watch, watch, go down, watch it. Good to see that. Pretty spawn. 
a lot of other jobs back here. A lot of timber. A lot of I don't know what's going to be the deal. Oh, 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 you guys don't know. I'm so excited. Bass fishing capital, man. This place got some bass. I'm actually surprised there's not as. Oh, look at these things. Hey, bet some guys catch one on swim team this week. Gosh, guys, you don't even know. I'm so excited to start fishing this week. I don't even know. Like, it's going to be warm. Like, oh my gosh. You guys can tell I'm like a kid in a kid. So that might not be the way tomorrow when practice starts and I don't get a bite. But just the look at this place is like, whoosh. I do though. That's the crappy part about it, the whole deal. Loaded. Beautiful. All this grass. actually see there's actually sun out and we've looked probably around the majority of the lake and there's obviously places that are staying places that are cleaner a foot and a half of water two foot of water is probably the cleaner water a lot of red running in there a lot of mats this little zone right here just from google earth for early spawners one of the best zones lake fork is a destination location and there's going to be plenty of guys out there trying to get after it, catch the bass. With this warm weather, it's going to it's gonna be a little crowded. There's no doubt about that. So finding places that are a little bit more obscure could be a huge player this week. Now we're sort of lower end of the lake. I wanted to sort of see what the water clarity looked like. Water clarity looks pretty clean from what I can see. That's a good thing. Sort of see right there. The boys over there shooting a, a feature, it looks like. Should be probably something for, for one of their sponsors, but um, yeah. Water's clean down this way. Really, actually, really clean. Like, like two foot of visibility is a lot. On to the house, actually. So. So far, we've got a uh, single wide trailer. This one I've heard is going to be a little bit better. We've got uh, a banger house out there at Eufaula. And uh, so this place, up, I don't know. We'll find out what we got. I don't know what Alicia, I don't know what the wifey booked this on this one. All right, so we done got to the house. And the guys that already beat us here, look at them all. Hey, Adrian just takes the first, the best spot, the only spot instantly. I, I don't see this guy. Hey, we done double. Qua hey, bro. Hey, we fresh off some some sore thumbs. Double, quadruple, crossbound. Quadruple. Unbelievable. So, all right, hold on. Let me put y'all down for a second. Give me some help. Nah. No. Good. Need dust off my boat. Hey, Will. Yeah. Oh, look at ever, this guy. Ever, ever use, right? And I'm like, but in Fast the bottom of that pack, you get like seven packs of these things. Okay, so I'm at Okeechobee one year in Acosta, and I ain't got no more Cinco's. I had these. Bro, I catch 25 pounds on them. No lie. So I picked up the phone. I called my man. I said, bro, I just crushed on your baits, you know, at Okeechobee. And he was super, super happy or whatever. And Yeah, man, that's awesome. You know, da -da. he sent me like 20 packs. And so I got a bunch of them, and I've just been using them ever since. They work great. Yeah, they work great. pretty adorable. I like flipping stuff like that because it floats better on a Texas rig. Yes. I don't like flipping a Senko with a Texas rig with the weight. I do not. That's not the way no, to go. No, because it, it sinks too hard. I agree, my friend. But I'm a medium heavy, bro. That's it. All right, so right now I'm putting Hink Shrink Wrap. You can buy this little thing. You've probably seen this on the channel before, but I just always keep this in my boat. I don't want to ruin a buzz bait before practice starts. I don't want to ruin... You know, this is like a, a jackhammer right here. You don't want to cut the hook off. This week, it's warm right now. It's smoking hot outside right now. And I feel like a lot of these fish are going to be spawning. So you don't want to be catching those bass that you might need to be catching. You might have a chance of catching in the tournament. That helps it right there. I hate to tell you, bro. A local's about to 
about to catch that badge you just shook off. Literally, I know. Uh-huh. Maybe two locals. I ain't never been here, but I hear it's crazy. As far as, you know, locals and people coming from all over the country. I mean, it is Lake Fork. It's world renowned. So, people come from all over to fish here. So, I know the boat traffic is going to be pretty thick. Spring break. Oh, spring break. Uh-huh. That's all right. We just got to get Liddy right with him. I bet ain't none of y'all got a sea rig tied on. I do not. I'm not going to sea rig. There's only one time I'll throw a sea rig. Smallmouth, up north. I made some money on sea rig. Dude, I don't know what it is. And that catches them. Dude. You can just drift around. Yeah, you can. You, know? you can, bro. Out here, out here, out here you can't really drift around. I hear you're like, dude, I got to make, you gotta make exactly. specific tasks. I'm going to replace my battery charger today with a whole new powerful charge system. I've been hearing a lot of great things about it. Heard it's fairly easy to install. So, you know, if I can install it, then it's very simple. All right, y'all, just getting done, wrapping up the charge system, putting in the boat. I'll show you a little bit more about that later on this evening, but we got to run real quick here to the meeting. DC's ready. I'm here FaceTiming my wife. Say what up, what up? Hey, what up, Vic? I'm vlogging. He's vlogging. You FaceTiming. And I'm here FaceTiming. Hey, you driving, DC? Yeah, I'm driving. All right, baby. Yeah, he's got room. He's driving. He's def it's definitely his turn. We all know that. It's overdue, actually. Okay, we're up here and grab a jersey and then run back down. Yeah. Yeah. Holy. So, we're waiting on Mark. Hey, DC, I'm proud of you, bro. You know why I'm proud of you? What's up? You can actually get in my truck? Well, you're driving. Like, you're actually driving us to the, the deal. Mm, I am. That's the first, isn't it? Spin and cheese. Oh, first. Yeah, Let me tell y'all something real quick. So, so, like me, I don't never clean my truck and uh, i hope there's a lot of guys out there that are kind of correlated to what i do because because i'm too busy catching these bass i don't have time to clean nothing as you can tell i got stuff everywhere i live out of my truck so does jay wills but he's got a lot bigger truck than me i'm proud to be driving this is a big monumental week i'm driving to the meeting so there you go and now everyone is left i, huh. I don't know what they're doing oh yeah we need to go there? boys come on mark I like this little camera, dude. I gotta get me one of these. I can actually see myself talking. Oh, so that's dangerous right there. Hey, that, that almost went to the white meat, son. <laughs> oh, gosh, dang. <laughs> dang, buddy boy, I'm hey, sorry. boy DC set a booby trap back here. Done got me. Got it now? Yeah, Did it poke you in the head? Just a little something, you know, just a little blood. Not much. Are you no, serious? I ain't bleeding. No, I'm good. Oh, here it comes. All right, guys. Are you still vlogging? Yeah. That's like a tough for forever. Mark, what do you think? Hey, Mark's got a wife beater Everybody on. Has a wife beater on. Hey, I sure. got a question. Mark, what was that sauce that you had that you was trying to put on our hands? What was that? It's that coconut oil and shea butter mix. <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about that. That's right. it. It's good for your skin. Every time I look at a pedicure, which I do, don't yep. be hating y'all. Yep. I, I mark oh, I get them too. Oh, oh, I, I get them too. He's like, hey, you need shea butter. Shea butter. Shea right. butter. Hey, yes. bro. The shea butter is a it's a it's an African tree, right? And yeah. they take the fruit, the nut, and they make a cream out of it, and it's hella good for your skin. And that's the reason behind shea butter. Yes, sir. Do you think there's a bass living in that pond right there? Oh, it, 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 got red, it got red running in it right there. Look at turtle. Turtle, 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 turtle. Let's I got, go. I got a question, though. What is that super expensive stuff? It's like $400, like, for a bottle that people get and put on their face. I mean, it's like 400 bucks. I ain't got a clue what that might be. But how, like, how do you know about that? DC? Okay, the only reason I know about that, a buddy of mine, yeah. he okay. gave me some, dude, I put it on my face. It felt like your face. It felt like I was 10 years younger. For real. It exfoliates your skin. It's like 400 bucks. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Somebody out there, please help me. Ask it your wife. Your skin feel tight or something? I don't know. It made it feel real clean and <laughs> real smooth and soft. I mean, like, I need some of that for my whole body. I'm trying to take a bath in it. You real quiet back there, bro. You didn't say it. I thought you were. I thought you would know what I'm talking about. I, I ain't gonna lie. You boys are scaring me. Pedicure, <laughs> manicure, ask, look, cocoa butter, butter, man. If you ask Tootsie, she'll know what I'm talking about. She probably will. It's. I forgot what it's called. You're getting a little uncomfortable. Oh, back. Look at this. It's called. Bath. It's four hundred dollar cream. It's some kind of. It's some, it's some kind of uh, sauce. It's definitely some I dang no sauce. I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, you know what's so crazy when you get around Lake Fork? Okay, there's like bug pest like companies. Or like angler bug spray. Get it out, boy. Get you it out. That? What the hell you're that, talking about? Did you not see that? I'm just saying it's like everything's bait. All right, so look, I crappie fest down here. Everything you look at. I'm just saying this is more bass fishing country than anything. Like it's just Listen, like when there's when there's 20 bass boats at a boat ramp 
It's Tuesday. 20? Shoot, 20. Try no, 70. No, no, this was an hour before sunup. Oh. Got there, right there, they're all like just chilling out, hanging out. Drinking coffee. <laughs> We're midweek. No, oh, we got a lot of them guys. We talked about this one time. There's always that group of guys that wake up at 2.15 and go to the huddle house to go drink coffee and eat breakfast for two hours. I'm not getting up at 2.15. Not doing it. You're lucky to see me at Blast Off. Look, 10, DC. <laughs> <laughs> So I fished a Toyota series after I right, drove right straight home um, from Okeechobee. And I get there, I got home at like 4, 4, 4, 30, 5 o'clock, and I drove there, got my co-owner and ran straight to take off. And I was literally like, like no joke, like 10 minutes before I take off, I went through like live load check and stuff, and I didn't know where like the dang takeoff boat was. So I was going to go back through live load check to take off. I probably just threw it have a pile of trash in that live well. I did. I No joke, I did. This is like normally the, the live well, for the most part, is the trash can. And that when I, as soon as I got home, I grabbed coal tags and I grabbed the trash bag and emptied my live well. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Take it off. Angler's Pest and, and Termite Control. I told you all. Angler's Pest and Termite Control. You see that? My man had a, a sign with a guy fishing in the boat and there was a mouse. On the end of his line. Did you see that? No, You sucker. Hey, two brothers pizza. I bet you that place is probably a fire. Yeah, you're out of your mind. Do you not think you know so? Where we're at? There's crawfish. Crawfish is good. Cool. I ain't gonna lie. Crawfish guys posted all that stuff about you go catching bass, but when Mark posted that little thing about crawfish, I don't care about them bass. Oh. All right, y'all. We're gonna see y'all in a bit. We got about 21 minutes to drive. Yo, what's your voice for us, man? Dude, catching them. Was that was that from the other day? Catching I was I was trying to do Nike and Ellie. You don't even understand how good it was. Yeah, if, if you're catching them on what you're catching them on. I know, I can't even tell you guys. Y'all ain't gonna believe this name video <laughs> that's about to come out with. Like, y'all don't even know. But anyway, we'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I got an idea right now. Oh, y'all gonna give me an idea. Yeah. All right, so, I so we're betting right. Mark right now. He won't go I walk in the meeting. Like this, with the wife beater on and, and his hat on backwards. And he's got sagging his pants. Pants and he's Actually, actually, hold on. Hey, I'm doing it. You got to leave the jersey in the truck. You ain't wearing no jersey. Oh, no. I'm going to bring your jersey. No, no. Uh, I got to be able to put my jersey back on, bro. No, you got to have jersey. That's Aaron Brashear said. That's not the deal. You got to have a jersey. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. My hat just went on forward. <laughs> we know what's out of here. All right, y'all. Right, so, this is what the meeting looks like. Not everybody's here yet. We're about 10 minutes early. I got Randy White and about everybody else. This is basically what this is it's a pre tournament meeting. Go over some of the rules, some of the stuff. Uh, along with like sort of updates throughout the league, we have an appearance we have this week, we'll get that done, so on and so forth. Pretty simple, pretty easy, uh, but it sort of gives us good information on where we're launching time, when to stage, when to be there, all that stuff. So that's pretty much all. Let's get started. Don't get out of here fast. Just a welcome from the Lake Fork area chamber. Glad to have y'all here at Lake Fork. I work at uh, some cabins over there at Lake Forest. I tell my guys that come in and tell, ask for tips, I said they're north of the dam and in the water. All right, y'all, we just got done with the meeting. It was pretty easy going. Got everything knocked out. <laughs> oh, oh, we put some headphones what? on. Some music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just got done with the meeting, guys. I'm crying. We're laughing around. We're joking around. We're about to go grab Panda, DC. Panda, 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 Panda Express. So that's that's where we're going to. Um, now I'll tell you, I'm excited to get out there on the water tomorrow and see what goes down. But we got to go to Panda and we got to go get some some groceries for the week. I'm about to get a big dodo plate of Panda. The biggest, bro. I'm about to shut the buffet down. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a buffet though. Whatever. I'm finna get yeah, that. It's a buffet. It's a buffet of Chinese food. food. Interesting right. fact: it's Chinese, not Japanese. At some point in my life, I thought we were getting teriyaki chicken. I thought teriyaki was associated with Japanese. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, that's <laughs> Americanized, bro. So they just Gourmet. throw it all in the same bag. Exactly. That's like Japanese miso too. Miso hey, miso, miso is. Yeah. yeah. But we got that at the too. Chinese spot. Is that, that that ain't right though? Cuisine. Yeah, yeah. They 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 missed. They they. I don't know what they did on that. That wasn't right. All right. This is not even my channel, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all real quick. I'm gonna take. Here is a food fact. Uh, for all the haters out there, Panda Express legit, is it not? Hey. <laughs> I love how these haters get on here. Panda Express, is it? Panda don't lie, is good. So look, everybody always considers, and me too, hands down, Chick-fil-A the best fast food. Am I right? Quality. Hey, bro. No. Panda Express right there with it. Service ain't the same. 
No, uh, but man, you can't eat the circus. Chick fil A. Hey, it's their pressure, but you can't eat it. <laughs> that panda? Yeah. Hey, but guess what? Chick fil A is right next to Panda. Also, too, no joke. Waterburger water goes hard. Hey, McDonald's does not go hard. McDonald's, all them other ones, not. Nah. Oh, we was in Texas last time. And hey, my boy was in there acting like we water was uh, Waterburger. Home of water. No, welcome to Waterburger. <laughs> Home of water, Waterburger. Man, take your order. Man, that's for all the straight OGs hey, out there. Y'all know about OG, that. Let's go. Know. Y'all, they pulled. Take this jersey off right now. Welcome to Waterburger. Hey, this is like the first time DC's ever been shopping in his entire life. By himself. By himself. It's like the first time. We got a little bunch of fruit right now. And we got some Jimmy Dean. Not Jimmy Dean. Sausage. Biscuits. <laughs> See, I don't I don't really mess with this section right here. Alright, we only got a few bits of battery left. What's the over on, or under on tens? Three? Oh, I'll take the under. Alright. Tell him. All right, so it it's the deal. Mix so we're calling DC out. He's in there talking to Vic. It's literally been about an hour and a half. Vic, <laughs> we don't know what you guys would be talking about for an hour and a half, but <laughs> it's all good. You know you guys. You know y'all. We know. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know we love you. There we go. Three about four good jobs. We got it. It's okay. This is a thing. We're, we have like about an hour and a half before it's midnight. We're getting ready to go to bed. But what's something we always try to do is we try to do a gentleman's bet. There ain't no gentleman when we start throwing hundo. Well, well say, a okay. Bet that keep costing me money. You still got to pay up. And DC does too. So that's all good. So normally it's on the cut weight. It's going to be like Lake Fork is world renowned. So Adrian, I'm gonna let you go first. Tough man, because you know I've only been here. I've only been here a couple times. One time during the spawn, but all the rest of the times they're offshore. When they're offshore, they're dinged up. I know it's been tough. You know we've been watching a lot of stuff online, and uh, it seems like it's been tough. But this week is literally the first week that water temperatures start getting into the 60s, and you guys know when that water starts to climb in that 60s, we're on a full moon. It's hard, man. I, I, I got to believe it's going to be somewhere around 25 pounds a day. Good number. Uh, I've never been here before, but like you stated already, man, world-class place. I mean, people will travel from all over the country, even other countries come Lake Fork. So, I mean, it's a place to be, man. Springtime, second week of March, full moon. I mean, we, we hitting it perfect, but it's still fishing. You got to capture them little suckers. I'm going to roll with 46. I take the over on that bet. 46 oh, pounds. Oh, it's too. So I, I know we're not making a bet right now, but it's around 50. That's where I'm at. Two pounds over and under 50. I feel like you're going to have a really good chance at it. It might take way more than that. It might take way less than that. We don't know. But we're not going to bet on the cut weight this time. Lake Fork has a lot of big bass. It's been known for that. And uh, we're going to bet on the overall amount of 10 pounders. Yes, 10 plus pounders caught on this body of water by our guys this week over the period of time. Now this actually counts on Athens as well. So it's-, it's I don't know nothing about Athens. Five full days of fishing on four, plus one day on Athens. Wow. So six days of fishing, 10 pounders, what's the best? Three, I'm going with three. Three, 100 bucks. So he took three off the giddy. What do you take? Hey, that's tough, man. <laughs> All I remember is that TTVC that I fished, there was one guy that literally caught multiple tens. Combs like multiple tens. Combs called tens. That's what he used to weigh in one, he used to bring in one. Called tens in that tournament. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> These fish are gonna be pre-spawn probably too. I know. Hard. It's, it's hard, man. It's really hard. I, I'm gonna, frig, man. See the crazy, this is the crazy thing. Is I can tell you right now, almost a guarantee, we have 80 guys fishing here this week. Half of these guys, if not more, have never caught a 10 pounder in their whole professional career. I would agree. Yeah, probably more than half. Yeah. But we're at Lake Fork, pre-spawn, spawn, best time of the year. I, I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with four. Yeah. Well, solid. I can't go five, I'm gonna go two. I, I was, if he was gonna go two, I was going four. <laughs> I had to go that, so. I, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be anywhere from two to four caught. I doubt it's only gonna be one. Maybe there's might be not any. I don't I know. Mean, no, no, We're gonna find out. Man. But this is the thing: it has to win exactly in your number, regardless. No, no, no. Under you win. Over no. I win. No. Mark gets three. No. no. <laughs> exactly. I was hoping it'd be like eight of them. I'd win this deal. Yeah, you might. You'd be good. You might. Well, hey, if that's the case, we might give it to you. It's that many. 
So that is the bet. Oh, so I got one. The exact number. Yeah. I got two. You got four. Mark's at three. Yep. Hundred bucks on the line. Actually, two hundred dollars for the winner. If oh. he's still, in the, it's still, still just. <laughs> we will give him five. <laughs> he's got five. He's got five. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. This is the travel. Oh my goodness. Oh, there he is. Oh. Hey, hey, oh. You know me, I'm gonna slide up in there. <laughs> I really didn't know y'all do anything here. I, had to be, I was in there talking to my wife, Victoria, you guys and, that. and I had this Ric Flair hair going on. Woo! <laughs> anyway, are you here to bet? How many 10 powers are gonna be called this week? So we have an exact number, we've already picked three numbers. $100 on the line by all of us, so it's a pool. So three numbers. Listen, are we gonna start taking tabs? Are you are going to be on five already because I made him five dollars a while ago because his maps were better than oh, CD. Right. <laughs> <laughs> iPhone maps sucks. Google maps. Hey, but you'll be five bucks. I gotta hear the predictions for y'all. Adrian picked four, Mark three, and I got two. A uh, two's a good number. You always been picking the three. Good three's a good number, I think. I think four is way too high. Question: yeah. What if? Five get weighed in. Does he win? No. no. It's yeah, gotta exactly. it's gotta be hey, exact. And five is available, bro. Well, you gotta think, big dog. If there's 40 boats on this pond of best fishermen for four straight days in his prime time, they go in to catch a 10 pounder. I would say two. But that's already taken. It's already taken. <laughs> right. So I'd one. say two. So roll a one. Let's do nine pounders. Nine no. Nine pounders. No. Because yeah, it, it would be a lot. lot. Over eight. Yeah, there, there's, gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of eight to nine pounders bought. Yeah, they're probably like, I bet okay. it's I, I would What's say a lot? No, a lot, dude. So you telling me that a nine pounder is dumber than a ten pounder? Hundred percent. They can go sell a dumb. Everybody, everybody out there. Hey, it's not a nine pounder sell a dumb. All these guys that say they caught ten pounders, they're like nine eighties, nine seventies. I've caught the fire out of nine pounders here. Never caught a true ten pounder. What? Yep. So we're at a pond that you've caught the fire out of nine pounders. Yep. Man, so, I've never went to, I've never, I can never say that I've ever went to a pond and caught the yeah. fire out of nines. First day here, Drew, I I pulled over 40 pounds. I had, I had 26 a day in the tournament. That's legit. Finished like 18. <laughs> so that's like that good. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, like they, these guys, day. these guys are still good. So wait a second, one or five? We're still trying to close out this video. We're still trying to close it out. We're trying to let you guys, we're trying to go to bed. <laughs> we're trying to let y'all go to bed. And this thing comes out, starts dousing him out. Third, he wants two. Two taken. Take, Take one or five. All right, here we go. And $300 if you win. Dang, that's a good deal. Too bad. I, 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 I would probably take, take, I would probably take one if I were you. Five or I got to pick one, so I can't pick two. You might as well go back no, to bed. I, I, I already got two. <laughs> I already explained this to you. I ain't jumping in this bed. Okay. Y'all leave me out. So Connor is not, he's not he's after he's all of that, comes out here, does not jump in the bed. We're closing this video out. This is the travel vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I take one. Give me one. You're gonna finally get in. Give me get the hammer out. Where's the hammer at? Where's the hammer All four hundred dollars in on this bet. Ten pounders, Lake Fork. We're gonna see what happens. Thank y'all for watching. See you guys next time.